The Army Women's Foundation celebrates and preserves the history and achievements of women who serve in the Army and helps them prepare for ongoing success, whether they continue their careers as soldiers or return to civilian life. Every March, as our nation celebrates Women's History Month, the Army Women's Foundation assembles soldiers and veterans, corporate executives and members of Congress on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. to honor and commemorate the contributions of outstanding Army women and to address issues that are important to female soldiers and veterans. Presented with support from the Home Depot Foundation and other partners, the Army Women's Foundation's annual Hall of Fame induction ceremony and symposium honors female soldiers past, present, and future for their service. The 2014 Hall of Fame inductees included the six female Silver Star Medal recipients and the 14th Women's Army Corps WAC Band, the last all-female military band. Chief Warrant Officer 5, Jean Pace, the longest serving woman in the Army today and the only remaining band member on active duty, accepted the award for the 14th WAC Band. Retired Command Sergeant Major Michelle Jones also was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Over two million women have served this country. And what makes a woman's service so unique is that every woman that ever served volunteered. Everyone, everyone. The Hall of Fame induction ceremony also presents an occasion to recognize individuals for their steadfast support of Army women. In 2014, the Army Women's Foundation honored U.S. Representatives Tammy Duckworth and Tulsi Gabbard, both combat veterans. I didn't come home on my own two feet. I was carried off of that battlefield by an amazing warrant officer. Um, and I've had a lot of people watching out for me. So I get to join the team now and watch out for Army women. This is about service and that no matter the uniform that we wear, we all carry those values with us as we attempt to be servant leaders in every possible way. While the Hall of Fame ceremony preserves history, the Army Women's Foundation shapes the future through its other programs. The Army Women's Foundation hosts symposia that bring together the nation's leading policy experts and corporate and military leaders to discuss issues affecting Army women. We have to be relentless in our perspective. We have to be relentless in our support for one another. We have to be relentless in mentoring our young. And we have to be relentless in the sense that we're different. Grasp it, take ownership of it, and stand proud. Experts address combat readiness, career transition, professional development, resiliency, wellness, and education attainment. DOD, Veterans Affairs, and Labor Department leaders participate as panelists and speakers. Within VETS, we have a three-part mission as we face a veteran. It is to prepare, to provide, and to protect. The Army Women's Foundation also provides the platform for our partners and Army women to interact with senior military leaders. And that's what makes our Army not just men or women, but dedicated professionals, persons of character who are willing to do what's necessary even when no one's looking, of commitment to one another, to their unit, to the Army and ultimately the nation. So I'm proud of our Army. Through its growing Legacy Scholarship Program, the Army Women's Foundation helps soldiers, veterans, and their children achieve their goals. This afternoon, the AWF is pleased to announce the awarding of $50,000 in life-changing scholarships to students attending undergraduate and graduate institutions. How about that? $50,000. Legacy scholarships support the education of Army women and their children through tuition assistance for technical certificate programs, community college coursework, and undergraduate and graduate degrees. Scholarships are based on merit, academic potential, community service, and need. The Army Women's Foundation will be there to support Army women past, present, and future to make sure service women are honored and their voices are heard.